In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your very own bat box. A bat box is designed to mimic the natural roosts that bats use during the spring and summer. This could include non-breeding males, or even in some places, it could include breeding mothers and their young. Bats are pretty picky in the selection of their roost habitats, and so the boxes are designed with some pretty specific recommendations to mimic those natural roost habitats and increase the probability that you're gonna attract bats to your own backyard. So pay attention to the details in the design, and let's get started. The whole project is constructed from two eight foot one by 12 boards. The type of wood doesn't matter because we'll be staining the wood with an outdoor stain. Follow the instructions to cut out each piece for the box. Note that two side pieces labeled as A are ripped to be eight inches wide. Cut an edge off the top piece labeled as G to have a 15 degree angle where it meets the back. Use a utility knife to make shallow scours spaced a quarter inch apart on the inside surface of every piece that will go into the box. This helps the bat climb up to the top of the box to roost. Clamp the two side pieces together and carefully mark where 15 screws will hold the pieces of the box together on each side. After marking where each screw will need to go, pre-drill each of these holes with the boards clamped together. Build a box with the two pre-drilled sides, the back piece, and the front piece. Align the bottom edge of the sides and the front four inches up from the bottom of the back piece to leave space for mounting hardware at the top and the bottom of the back. Use outdoor screws for all assembly. Insert the divider pieces and line them up along the pre-drilled holes to ensure equal spacing between each one. Align the tops of each board to the top of the box. This will create uneven boards at the bottom, but that leaves spaces for the bats to land and climb up onto each divider. Now mount the top of the box. Measure the location of four ventilation holes eight inches up from the bottom of the box and drill them out between the dividers with a half inch drill bit. This will allow airflow into the box. Stain all the exterior surfaces of the box with the darkest stain you can get. The darker the box, the hotter it gets, and the hotter the box, the better it is for bats. Then use an outdoor caulk to seal up all the seams to keep the moisture out. Mount the box on a pole, tree, or even a building in a wooded area. Try to ensure that the box will get 10 hours of direct sunlight each summer day so that it'll keep the box warm and be the most attractive to bats. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. A box like this can attract a diversity of backyard birds. The most likely birds that you'll attract are eastern bluebirds, black-capped chickadees, and house wrens. 